Some active and retired military runners are going to come together this weekend. They're highlighting a serious issue by competing in the Leadville Marathon. They're also raising money to support suicide awareness in the military. As our Matt Kroschel reports, these runners have a mission. Sometimes it can be hard to even catch your breath at 10,200 feet. Imagine being in a marathon, and that's exactly what a team of active and retired military members are doing right here in Leadville on Saturday. You don't want to go anaerobic and wear yourself out. This is the fourth year we've done this. This is their team. We start and finish as a team. It is comprised of 10 combat veterans. The one individual, Randy Cuccio from Colorado, represents the public we serve. He's a non-veteran, but a big veteran supporter. All connected by a common goal. To give back and to save lives. We chose Leadville, of all the places we could do, specifically for two reasons, teamwork and endurance. You go, you'll burn all your carbs and it'll convert to fat. We want to be burning fat the whole way. Training before the big race with an even bigger meaning for this special group of runners. The teamwork aspect is the bonding of folks coming together during the Academy of Healing. The endurance piece is setting folks up with a mentor after that week-long training to retrain the brain and show them re what right looks like. The veteran suicide issue is real. It's an epidemic. It's 20 per day. So we want to support an organization, nonprofit, Warriors Ascent, that is really tackling the suicide, the veteran suicide issue. So far, this team raising nearly $60,000 for the Warriors Ascent nonprofit, along the way showing other veterans that anything is possible. Not only will those team members be battling the elements up here in the high country, they'll also be traveling over Mosquito Pass, more than 13,000 feet above sea level. Reporting in Leadville, I'm Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First. It's just great. Matt, thank you. And